going on? So he's like, we at my house. I'm like, why are we at your house? So he's like, what you mean why are we at my house? What do you mean? What do I mean? Why are we, why are we at your house, sir? Why are we here? <laughs> guys it's your girl kayla and i hope you're ready to keep up with me because it's time to catch up with kay the like 20 minutes to get ready which means i have 20 minutes to tell you this story i already did like my eyebrows a little bit and i already did my foundation but i'm gonna do my makeup while um i tell you about the horrible first date that i went on right this is my first date it was it wasn't horrible but like on a scale of one to ten one being the worst it was definitely like one like last year in the beginning of the year we're gonna name him uh max because my mom is not good with names like she's not good with names at all and for some reason she could not call him by his name and she kept calling him max so we're gonna call him max so <laughs> so um max hit me up in like february like right around valentine's day like right after valentine's day right so um he hit me up and i didn't see his message till like two weeks later so when i texted him back he was like hey and i was like hey usually i don't say hey to people but i went to his page and he was looking okay like he, he, he wasn't ugly but he wasn't cute like he looked all right so um i said hey back and um you know he hit me back like hey what's up with you how you been or, like you know how are you and things like that so we just started talking from there and he had good conversation so we just was talking for like the rest of that week just every day hey what's up how you doing and um you know just checking in with each other so basically just becoming friends so then he was like yo i want to see you like i want to link up and i was just like mm. i don't do that no really like i really don't be linking up with people like i don't i just don't do that so when he was like you want to link up i was like mm, call me weird i don't care I just, if I'm not interested in you, I don't want to see you. So, um, I was like, I have work, I'm busy. Like, every time he would ask, I'd be like, oh, I'm out with my mom, oh, I'm out with my friends. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. So, um, he got tired of that and basically was like, um, I'm going to plan something and, you know, just let me know when you're free. So, then I was just like, all right, dang. It's been like two months now. I've been dragging and telling him I'm busy, I'm busy. So, we finally go out in, like, April and he picks the restaurant and so i told my mom like hey this guy's interested in me he wants to take me out on a date or whatever and so you know she get excited she told all my aunts and my everybody she told everybody so um now i'm pulling up his instagram i'm showing all my aunts and everything like yes he has a car yes he has a job you no know, he don't got no kids and you know just letting them know you know what he's about so um so the day comes and he, um, I'm asking him, like, you know, where are we going? Because, you know, I need to tell my mom where I'm going. The heck? So, um, I'm my mom only child. She don't play about it. She don't play about me, okay? Neither do my dad. I'm his oldest. I'm his baby girl. They just don't play about me, like, okay? They just don't. So, if you take me somewhere, I need to know where I'm going and what time we'll be leaving, what time we'll come back. Like, I need to know the details. That's just, that's just how it is with me, okay? If you want to you date me... You interested in me that's how it goes you got i just need to know they need to know we need to know so um yeah so yeah i asked him it's like hey where are we going what did you you know what did you plan he's like oh it's a surprise and i'm like what do you mean it's a surprise bro stop playing with me tell me where we're going so he's like no i'm dead serious i want it to be a surprise Blah, blah 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 so i'm like um let me just let me just tell you something real quick real fast i don't i don't mind going out with you tonight but like i don't know you from nowhere like i know we've been talking for like two months but I, i've never literally i've never i've never met you like i've never met you i don't know you so this can't be a surprise like i don't i like surprises and all that but that was sweet and i understand the gesture but no this can't be a surprise because i don't know you this is my first time meeting you I need to know where we're meeting or where I'm going if you know what's going on so he's like well we're not meeting anywhere I wouldn't um, make you travel to me I'm gonna pick you up and we're going to the sugar factory but he didn't say sugar factory at first he sent me the address to the sugar factory which if you've been there before in New York it's in a hotel or like near a hotel so when he sent the address it said hotel so I was like 
sending question marks back like um I don't see like where we going. So when he told me he was like sugar factory is inside the, the place or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. So my mom she told whoever she had to tell. <laughs> and then um uh, And then I went home from work and I got ready to go on my first date. I was nervous. I was very nervous, but I was excited and I was kind of like iffy because I'm like, from the surprise thing, he had me like, what kind of timing are you on? What do you mean you want this first meeting to be a surprise? Like, I, this is a meeting, actually. This is not a date. This is a meeting. I'm, I'm, I don't know you, bro. I just don't know you, so... talking about some let's let's do a surprise date I don't, that's not that's like more like fourth date fifth date kind of thing not first date so um <clears throat> i went home i got ready i picked out my outfit he came he got me he did not open my door he sat in the car first of all he texted me like he was downstairs so i'm like okay i'm coming so he's like beeping the horn mad hard and loud like if i don't know that that like if i'm not gonna know that's him if you wanted me to know that's you how about you get out the car sitting there beeping the horn that hard so i was like a little bit embarrassed like why are you beeping the horn that's like stop don't do that so we just started like making small talk and um so we got there so we get there and um he gets out the car again he does not open my door I open my door and i get out the car so we're walking up the the thing or whatever and we get into the restaurant we get into in front of the restaurant and if you ever been there if you haven't been there it's like a wall with like you know the little sweetheart candies that you get on valentine's day i don't like them now but i used to love them when i was a kid they're nasty now but yeah it's like a wall of that um behind you and then it's like three little chairs that you can like sit and wait until the table is called so um he goes up to the lady and he's like you know i have a reservation whatever whatever so she's like okay it's about 10 minutes we go to sit down don't mind my brush it's broke obviously leave me alone so we go to sit down and um, wait for our for um, our our name to be well his name to be called so that we can go and sit down or whatever. And um, before I could even like ask him anything or like say anything, he's like, "Yo, can you take my picture?" So I'm like, "Like I'm thrown back. Like, like you want me to take your picture?" So I was like, "Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take your picture." I got up, took his picture, took like five pictures of him. Like he was dead posing. It was so weird. Like I was, I've never been in that situation. Like usually. I'm the one that gets the pictures taken because I'm the girl. But yeah, so I was just like, okay. I don't think I like that very much. Strike number three, because you didn't open the door twice, okay? You want to be honking and being mad embarrassing, that's two. And then you asked me to take pictures of you, like, are you, you're acting like a female. So, um, I didn't like that. It was just very, like, that's how I was on the inside. But I was just like, She's okay. That one was nice. Take another one. That's how I was. So, um, <laughs> he took his pictures or whatever, and then I took some pictures of me, of course, because what the heck? How are we not going to take pictures of me? And we're going to take pictures of you? No, that's not how this is going to go. I took my pictures, he took his pictures, and then we sat back down, and we started talking or whatever, and, um, then the lady calls him, calls him by his last name, but I don't know this man's last name. I just met him. So, when no that's not what happened she didn't call his name what happened was he got up to go ask about the table and when he got he got up to ask her about the table i heard her say his last name so she was like you know she said whatever his last name was and she was like yeah your table is ready and so instead of coming back to get me he walks in the restaurant behind her so i'm like getting my bag and stuff grab my coat like let me hurry up. I had to literally catch up, run to him. Like, hello, you just left me over there. Didn't even say, yo, let's go. Oh, yeah, the table's ready. Come on. He didn't look back twice, once, nothing. He just he just left. So I was just like, okay, let me hurry up and go. So um, once he left, then once I, once I caught up to him, um, the lady sits us at our table. He didn't pull out my chair. No, he did pull out my chair. I'm lying. He pulled out my chair, but like he forgot. 
because I was already at my chair. I pulled it out. He was like, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Let me pull it out. Okay, he pulled out my chair or whatever. And I was just looking at him like, thanks. So he pulled out my chair and I sat down. And um, as soon as we sat down, I'm looking at the menu to see, like, you know, what I want to drink or whatever because I know they're going to come ask me that first. So I'm looking at the menu to see what I want to drink. And this man, I look up to see if he's looking at what he want to drink. I'm about to ask him, hey, what you what, what do you want to drink? Have you ever been here before? You know, kind of thing. And he is Instagramming his life away, y'all. He is boomeranging everything, the ceiling, the table, the people next to him. Like, he was really going in with the, 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 the like, the content, bro. He was really giving content. Like, I was just looking like. I'm gonna go back to my drink and they need to hurry up and come ask me what I want to drink because I need a drink like now. We start conversating about, you know, each other, our lives. We got brothers, sisters, mom, dad, what do you like to do, all this other stuff. And um, then the waitress comes and he gives us our drinks. And before I could even see the waitress do the little magic uh, effect with the, the, the nitrogen and the cloud and all that stuff, this man got his phone out again. So he starts recording the guy um, doing his drink again, right? So I pull out my phone and I start recording the guy doing our drinks. Oh, I just looked at my shirt and I forgot to say, Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is Friday, March 17th, and I'm wearing some green for y'all because, yeah, I'm in the spirit this year. Um, okay, y'all, it's 140. I gotta hurry up. I'm almost done now. I'm almost done. And um, that's what I was saying. So, yeah. I put on my phone, he pulled out his phone, and then right after that, like, after the guy gave us our drinks, somebody's birthday, it was somebody's birthday, so, um, he was singing, they were singing happy birthday to the people, and he starts recording them too, I'm like, what are you doing, I'm like, why are you recording them, he's like, oh, cause they, they, they lit over there, you know, they lit, I'm like, okay, so you just watch, and you sing along, and you clap along, you don't record people on their birthday that you don't know, like, that was so weird. So, um, anyway, don't tell me what I'm using what for. I know how to do my makeup, and when I'm done, I'm going to look bomb. So, everybody that's like, oh, why do you do this? And don't, I don't care. Shut up. So, um, I told you already, this is not like a, how I do my makeup. This is not that. This is not that. Y'all just watch me do my makeup while I tell you this horrible day that I went on. So, boom. He started recording everybody. And at that point, I was really just, like, over him. Like, you, you're doing too much. You're getting on my nerves. Where's the waitress so I can order my food? Because the food options don't even look good. This drink is, is nasty. Like, it tasted like... It tasted like they barely put anything in it. Like, it was mostly juice or whatever. It wasn't a lot of liquor. It was just, like... I don't know. It was nasty. And then they put mad candy in it. So, all that sugar and all that... It was just wasn't good to me. And so, I was just hungry and I was ready to eat. And, um, so, the waitress comes, our food comes, and I say my grace. I don't remember if he said grace, but I said my grace. And, um, he just, he, he ate his food, and I'm not going to talk while I'm eating, so it's quiet. Unless I, you know, unless it's good conversation, then I'm going to talk. But other than that, I don't really like to talk while I'm eating. I'm, I'm eating. So, um, I start eating, he starts eating. And then I like he ate his food mass ass first of all. Like I was like, Wow, you was hungry, huh? Like you ain't playing no games, you know? I tried to make a joke out of it, but really he really ate his food in under ten minutes. Like a whole burger instead of fries in under ten minutes. Like that was a little bit embarrassing. Like you didn't have to eat that, that fast. I know you're a guy and everything, but we're on a date, conduct yourself properly, sir. So, um I finished eating and he was like yeah you ready to go and i'm like yeah I'm, I'm i'm about ready to go so um he asked for the bill i went to the bathroom and then when i came back he had like he had his jacket on and stuff he was really like ready to go like he had his jacket on he pushed his chair in and um the plates weren't gone or anything like the plates weren't gone nothing so i'm like um did you get like to go boxes he was like no nah, i paid already you, you want to take that with you? I'm like, yes, I would like to take the rest of this with me. So I sat back down. He sits back down. And he calls the waitress back over. And I'm like, yeah, can I have some to-go boxes for you? He's like, oh, yeah. I was asking if you wanted, but he's like, no, we're good. So I'm like, looking at him, like, why would you say that? So anyway, that aggravated me. And then...
that aggravated me because I'm like, what are you in a rush to leave for? Like, we didn't really, really even have, we barely even had any type of conversation and you like trying to wait for one out of here. So, um, dude, so, um, I was like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go home basically. Like, yeah, um, you can take me home. I told him my address again, just to make sure, you know, he got it right, told him my address. And he's like, oh yeah, I got it, you know, from when I came to get you. So, um, he puts the, I'm thinking he puts the address in me. Mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm saying thinking because I just told him my address and I see him typing on the GPS. And then the GPS is like, you'll arrive at your destination in 10 minutes. So I'm like, it took us about 30 minutes to get here. So if we just pulled out about five minutes ago, how do we got 10 more minutes to go? But I'm looking at the time like, it is kind of late, maybe the traffic cleared. I don't know. So I kept that in mind. So, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm on my phone. So he asked me how it was, how did I enjoy the day? I'm like, oh, I enjoyed myself. You know, um, at first I wasn't really too comfortable with truth is, you know, I'm just meeting you for the first time, but I do feel comfortable. I, like, I do feel comfortable now. Like, you know, we're, you know, we're good. We're cool. And he was like, would you want to go out again? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I had fun on this time. I would like to go out somewhere else, you know, see what you really like. So he's like, okay, cool. I'll be right back. Give me a second. So, um, yeah, so we, we driving out and mind you, the GPS just said 10 minutes to your destination. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So, um, I'm not paying too much mind, but I did like make note of it. So he's asking me, you know, if I enjoyed myself and things like that. I think I said that already. Yeah. So we asked him, he asked me now, like, what else do I like to do? Like what, what else would be a good date for us to go on? So I was like, I like to go to the movies. Um... And you know anything like sports related, like arcade, bowling, stuff like that. So he's like, okay, cool. So then, um, now the GPS is like four minutes into your destination. So I started looking at the GPS, like, but I can't see it, and I don't want him to see me like trying to look at it too much. So I'm looking at it like, and then I just looked at him, and I looked at the GPS again. So I'm like, um. All right, let me not say nothing. Maybe we stop for gas or something. So he turns the corner, right, onto a street, and now I'm sitting up because I'm like, all right, four minutes done passed. They say two minutes on GPS. We're not nowhere near no gas station. So where are we going? So um, I didn't say anything yet. I'm just still paying attention, but I'm, I'm like sat up in my seat, like paying attention now. So um, he pulls into a driveway and he takes off his seatbelt. And I look at him like, where are we? What are you doing? I'm like, where are we? I'm like, where are we at? You know, where's, what's going on? So he's like, we at my house. I'm like, why are we at your house? So he's like, what you mean why are we at my house? What do you mean, what do I mean, why are, we, why are we at your house? I'm like, what do you mean, what do I mean? Why are we at your house? So he's like, oh, it's like, it's early still, you feel me? You said that you was enjoying yourself, so I figured we come to my house and just chill. So I'm like... Okay, yeah, I did say that I was enjoying myself, but I also told you that I wanted to go home before we left that spot. So if you wanted to hang out more or like go somewhere else, you should have said that to me. You don't just take me to your house. So he's like, why are you acting like that? I'm like acting like what? He's like, bro, you being mad childish. Like we just went out. You said you was having a good time. You, you said you feel comfortable around me and all this stuff. And now... I'm telling you, let's go chill at my house, and you acting weird. I'm like, no, you're acting weird because you don't bring me to your house. If I just told you I want to go home, you bring me home. And if you, like I said, if you want to do anything else, you should have said that. You should have told me. You should have asked me. And he's like, why do I have to ask you? Because you have to ask me. Like, I didn't understand. I was just, like, dumbfounded. I didn't understand, like, what to say to get it through his head because he clearly was not getting it. So, um, we start going back and forth a little bit. So, I'm... Like, you can put your seatbelt back on because I'm literally not getting out the car. You can take me home. Take me home. Like, I'm not even asking you anymore. I'm telling you, take me home. So, he started getting aggravated. He started, oh, you're being mad childish. I knew you was going to be like this. When I told you it was a surprise, you was already acting weird. Like, um, like, it's, like, you know, just being mad weird. Asking me about the address and stuff. I'm like, this is my first time meeting you. Of course, I'm going to ask you for the address. And specifically because of stuff like this. Who brings somebody to their house when you, you thought because you went out on a date? I told you I enjoyed myself. I was comfortable around you. You was going to take me to your house. If you wanted to spend more time with me, you would have went out somewhere else. Like I said, uh, bro, 
Like, why do I keep saying the same thing? Are you dumb? And <clears throat> I got tired of repeating myself. He got tired of me ignoring him. So he blasted the music and he sped all the way home. Because I told you he can't drive. So it was a lot of pressing on the gas and then he slowed down because he knew what he was doing. So, um, yeah. After that, I got home. I slammed his door and he skirted off. And... We talked about it after that, but we ain't never go out again after that. I was like, nope, never again. I told Thank my mom, you for coming to my story time. I think it's like 1.50 now. I literally have to hurry up. I don't know what time it is. It's um, fine.